Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We still have uh, some charts are still open. Uh, we have uh, the Russell uh, on the last trade. It's a Friday today, 5,600. Uh, we have the gold still open, 5,800. We still have the Russell still open position, 5,000. We have the gold still open position, 3,240. The ES three minutes, 8,400 is still open. The YM five minutes, 13,000 and is still open position. And the NASDAQ four minutes, 8,800 and still in the open position. Today the market was on the other channel. You can see it was up and then down and it was really sideways for a very long time. And uh, so the numbers are okay, finally, when the market start moving. Uh, the ES five minutes, I'm using two different type of an auto trade, the BBT strategy and the TI seven strategy. On the BBT, we got uh, 8,700 on the five minutes. Uh, on the YM, we got 5,655 on the TI7. You can see it on the left upper corner. On the BBT strategy, we got 6,700 on the YM five minutes. YM four minutes, 4,300. And uh, couple thousand on the Nasdaq uh, the DAX I always use uh, four minutes it's my favorite time frame 2300 nothing special about it and then uh, we have the gold uh, 2480 so today the average was between three and four thousand few charts they went and climb all the way up to eight thousand but the average is around three thousand today because of the market movement. Uh, DAX four minute again, 3,700. Uh, the gold two minutes, uh, 2,000. You can see how the numbers, they're all in the same average, almost 3,560 on the one minute. 11 range, 3,000 again. You can see the average is around 3,000 on all different time frame or different instruments because of the market movement and the YM three minutes is 3,900. So you can see all those auto trades within the 3,000 uh, range. Some of them went up to 8,000, but this is lucky charts uh, because of the time frame. Uh, and, uh, and at this moment right now, Friday is only uh, three o'clock PM. Uh, but I think we are done for today. And uh, if I would like to show you uh, the ES today, uh, when we were, you can see it on the other channel. Uh, we had a beautiful run this morning. And then the market halt. And we stop around that area here at 11 o'clock. We stop uh, on the other channel live. And then the market stayed within this range from 10, 1023, stayed all the way till 1155, till 12 o'clock on the same range. And then if we look what happened, then it broke that resistance, which we covered that. And then it got, got stuck on the second level and it stayed from 12 o'clock all the way till almost two o'clock and and you can see how this market went to the higher level but now from two o'clock until the three o'clock we are on the range between 37.53 and the support area 3743. So what happened really today, uh, it was in three steps, the market, and each one of them 
was more difficult than the higher level. So that's why this market today, uh, the way they were in the 3000 range, because we can see how this market stayed on the side and then break one level and stayed on that level and then broke the third level and stayed on those level. So the market was moving in pieces today, was not a direct trend all day long. Thank you very much. Have a nice weekend. And uh, to our members, we'll see you on Monday uh, for uh, members uh, webinars. Thank you very much and God bless you all. Bye for now.